hello hello guys so uh, welcome to this uh, youtube channel so in this video today uh, we are going to look how we can perform a pair t test so pair t test uh, used to compare the mean before and after treatment uh, so let's begin so we're going to use the data file that are already installed with the starter so to access those uh, data files so let's click file and then go to example data set uh, and then click example data set installed with starter then the one that we're going to use is bp wider let's use that one so let me let's describe type describe command and then so that you can know the type of variables that we have so we have the patient we have sex we have age group bp before bp after let me browse this data so that you can have a clear view so we have the patient id so patients run from 1 up to 120 so we have 120 patients so we have this age group i mean sex we have age group blood pressure before a certain treatment and uh, blood pressure after certain treatment so in a parity test uh, in this case you want to measure the mean between uh, the mean difference between these two variables blood pressure before the treatment and blood pressure before after the treatment so we want to compare is the mean the same is the mean greater than uh, zero is the mean i mean is the mean difference greater than zero is the mean difference equal not equal to zero is the mean difference less than zero in the case of these two variables the blood the blood pressure before and the blood pressure after so uh, to call to, to perform a, a pair t test we are going to to type the command t test and then we have uh, the first variable blood pressure before just click that one so and then you click uh, is, is equals to so double equal sign uh, blood pressure after so let's enter so here our our, our result for the t test so for the pair t test so we have 120 observations we have the mean of blood pressure before 156 the mean uh, 155 blood pressure after is 150 just from looking at these two we can see that the mean difference is is not equal to zero uh, okay we have the standard area with the standard deviation we have the t-test statistic 3.3372 we have uh, degrees of freedom 119 so our uh, null hypothesis here we have the mean difference is equals to zero that is the dif difference that we are uh, uh, talking about is blood pressure before the mean of blood pressure before minus the mean of blood pressure after so and how yeah, yeah down here we have the three alternative hypotheses that uh, we can test so from these three alternative hypotheses we have the the first null hypothesis that uh, the mean difference is not equals to zero having a p-value of uh, 0 0.001 meaning that this p-value is statistically significant so from there here we can see that the mean difference is not equal to zero because here our p-value is uh, statistically significant also we have our the other alternative hypothesis that you can consider is this one that the mean difference is greater than zero so the mean difference that is mean before and minus mean bp after is greater than zero as you can see here 156 minus 151 is greater than zero so in this uh, null, null i mean alternative hypothesis we have our p-value 0 0.006 0 0.0006 0.0006 so meaning that uh, this alternate this, this uh, p-value is statistically significant meaning that uh, we can reject uh, the null hypothesis here and have it that the mean difference is greater than zero at five percent in uh, confidence i mean five percent significance le in any level also this first null alternative i mean this first alternative hypothesis we have the rp value which is 0 0.0 0 0.99994 which is uh greater than 0 0.05 so meaning that this p value is not statist statistically significant therefore we can we fail to reject in this case we will fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that we have we don't have sufficient evidence uh, to say that the mean difference is less than zero so that is how we normally uh, conduct a uh, pair t test using starter uh, using starter so also you can just 
to get the same result here you can use the graphical user interface go to statistics summary tables classical test of hypothesis then go to t test click that one so we are performing a paired t test yes that one click paired and then the first variable we are going to input bp, uh, BP, BP blood pressure before the second variable is uh, blood pressure after so from here we have our confidence interval at 95 so by default so just leave it like that click submit and then click ok so as you can see we just get the same results here and it is giving us a command that we can input in the command bar so that is it so guys if you found this video useful click the like button and sub subscribe to my youtube channel for more content thank you